So in my ongoing effort to inform you, educate you, and prepare you for the auto apocalypse, here's some more great news. Used car prices in February increased an average of 35% or $9,000 year over year. The vehicles with the largest price increases are mainly economy and fuel-efficient cars, of all things. Hybrid used car prices are up 47%, and electric car used prices are up 43% amid a surge in gas prices. So used car prices are up 35% over last year as the microchip shortage continues to impact the automotive industry. According to iccars.com's latest analysis of nearly 2 million used car sales in February, this is down, it's not a big positive, but it is down from 37% in January. Quote, after coming down slightly in February, used car prices remain elevated due to the lingering supply constraints and they are expected to rise again due to geopolitical factors as Russia is a key supplier of materials used to make car parts and microchips. This is from uh, an executive with IC Cars. He goes on to say, we are also seeing a significant increase in demand for used hybrid and electric vehicles as a result of high gas prices, with the cost of hybrids increasing by 46.9% and electrics increasing by 43% compared to last year. Unquote. Although the average used car has increased significantly in price, they also found that some vehicles have lower than average increases, making them smarter buys for people in the market for a used car. All right, take a look at this chart. The vehicle with the largest price increase is the Sonata Hybrid, which had a price increase of 61% over February of last year. It's joined by an additional hybrid vehicle, the Prius, which saw a 46.7% price increase. Five small gasoline cars make the list, including the Spark Subcompact, Kia Forte, compact, Kia Rio, also a subcompact, the Soul, subcompact wagon, and the Corolla, compact car. You'll see two electric cars making the list, including the Leaf and Model S from Tesla, and the Mercedes-Benz G-Class rounds out the list. And now on a positive note, possibly, maybe a little bit, the top 10 used cars with the smallest price changes. The top 10 vehicles here with the smallest price differences have increased 1.7 to 3.2 times less than the average vehicle and are mainly luxury and sports cars. You can see them all right here from the Maserati Levante all the way down to the Ford F-150. In total, three pickup trucks make the list, including the seventh ranked Ridgeline, ninth ranked Nissan Titan XD, and of course you see there at the bottom, the F-150. So let's get right to it. Why are used cars so expensive? You probably know the answer, but let me explain it more in detail from their report, which you can find by clicking the link below this video. The prices of used cars are at record highs because demand is exceeding supply. Pretty basic. Microchip suppliers paused production in the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic to protect workers, and the economic slowdown caused all makers to order less computer chips. When the economy began to recover, there was an increased demand for personal electronic devices, which led to microchip factories becoming overwhelmed. Automakers were forced to stop new vehicle production due to a supply chain shortage of microchips and semiconductors. As a result of the production disruptions, more car buyers bought used cars due to the scarcity of new cars. There was also an increased demand for used cars among consumers who moved away from cities and required personal vehicles as people abandoned public transportation during the pandemic. This heightened demand was coupled with reduced supply at dealerships as fewer people were trading in their used cars because they weren't getting new cars, which led to a shortage of used cars overall. The resulting shortage has caused record high prices for used cars. As you've noticed, it's not just used cars seeing price hikes. New car prices have risen too, with the average brand new car costing above sticker price. Car companies have also slashed incentives due to the shortage of new cars, which has elevated the average price paid for a new car. Moreover, the Russia-Ukraine conflict is expected to further elevate new vehicle prices as Russia is a key supplier of nickel, palladium, and aluminum, all of which are required for vehicle production. Quote, while consumers were previously advised to wait to purchase a used car if they were able to do so, new geopolitical factors are expected to exacerbate and prolong the present used car price increases, according to IC Cars. The best way for American consumers to avoid significantly higher prices for the foreseeable future is to either maintain their current vehicle or purchase a used vehicle that isn't in high demand and to be as flexible as possible with factors such as color 
and trim. Again, I will put a link to this study in the description below this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on, are you in the market anymore for a used or new car? Does it even concern you? I know some people are going back to work, back to the office, as opposed to working from home. And that may be a factor on what they're driving or their affordability of what they can, what they can buy in the near future. But if people are staying home, there's no need to buy new or used cars. Anyways, love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. Good luck. We'll see you soon. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please cr click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.